And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Arsenal. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Physically strong and secure on the ball. Chance to cross. Foden. Back to Holland. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Gabriel, and that was a very fine read. City moving the ball forwards, what can they do from here? He has time to play it over. Must take the lead here. He's blocked it. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. He has teammates around him. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Lovely ball over the top. And he did well to cut it out. OK, well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. OK. We're not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Giving it a try, but into the keeper's gloves. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Found a pocket of space. Gabriel Jesus. A really effective shielding under pressure. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Walker. De Bruyne now. Kevin De Bruyne. And that ball looks promising. Foden. On to Holland, And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball. But in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Absolutely. And looking to try to take advantage of the possession here. And the flag has gone up just when he looked ready to pounce, perhaps. Well, he was just too static in the end, which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation. Grealish De Bruyne now 
Can he finish? And using his body to good effect. Gabriel Jesus. Xhaka. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Holland Grealish and it crossed the byline a goal kick as a result So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Granit Xhaka. Gabriel Jesus. Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. <laughs> 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Ake, Gundogan, Grealish, it's with Gundogan, Ake, De Bruyne, and in it goes, Manchester City strike first in the Champions League final. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. Martinelli. Now with Jesus, an alert intervention. Grealish. On to Gundogan. An effective challenge. And support available. But they took care of the situation defensively. Now we have 30 minutes to go. City have the ball again. chance to do damage well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Walker and teammates to play it to well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area Martin Erdegaard Gabriel Martinelli. Xhaka. Nicely timed tackle. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. 
And Manchester City will go to their bench. Well cleared away. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Jack Grealish. Plenty of options. Foden. Another classic example of how to intercept. Just 15 minutes remaining. Rodri. Gundogan. And now Stones. Jack Grealish. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Real chance. And not cleared away properly. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Manchester City still on the attack as the minutes tick away. Can they come up with a winner? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Oh, managing to beat him. Advantage, Arsenal. And space to cross it. Partey. And now with Kosar. Return to Zinchenko. Tremendous block. Zinchenko well visionary passing it's still alive and in the end no damage done well that's it for the 90 minutes but this is not over and two 15 minute periods of extra time to come Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And still looking to get the shot away. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Who can he pick out? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Grossar. Can they forge ahead? Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. De Bruyne. Foden. Oh, goodness, not the best of challenges. Now then, what's the referee going to do here? And the referee has decided to expel him. And he can only have himself to blame. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust now. 
Time for a change then. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Playing it short. De Bruyne. Marvellous anticipation. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Vieira. And a chance to rip it in here. Partey. Now they stopped them in their tracks. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Walker. Oh, what an opportunity. Spectacular save. Tom, and he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. The initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left, and then it's a penalty shootout. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Can they take advantage? The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. Holland. De Bruyne. On to Holland. Chance to cross. Holland. Now with Silva. Oh, a smart save to keep the minute. Well, that keeps it interesting, but they're running out of time here. Short corner favourite. Bernardo Silva. And back with Grealish. Could be. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. It's a short one. Akanji. And now Rodri. This could be it. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Now the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand.
What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And options in the centre. And there it is! Full time! Manchester City Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've won.